Welcome back to you live now from Fox, everybody. We are continuing our coverage when it comes to word that Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer convicted of murdering George Floyd, could be uh, entering a plea deal, a plea deal, it may seem. Uh, Fox 9 Minneapolis's Bill Keller is back with us to explain what's going on out there. Bill, good morning to you. Can you kind of break down the nuts and bolts of what we're looking at? I believe this is happening tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely, Regina. Good morning. I mean, he's, he, he pleaded not guilty to these federal charges of depriving George Floyd of his civil rights. That was back in September. Now, he's expected to make an about face in that. Uh, this could help him avoid spending the rest of his life in prison. Now, there's going to be a hearing scheduled tomorrow. Uh, he is expected to change his plea. Uh, it is likely that his legal team has worked out some type of a plea deal this would not affect the amount of time he actually spends behind bars because he is already serving 22 and a half years in prison uh, for the murder of George Floyd. But if they came up with it, some type of federal uh, agreement with federal prosecutors, rather than serve that in a state prison, he could do it in a federal facility. But the civil rights case against him and his three co-defendants, that was set to go to trial this month. This would really upend that. Those three co-defendants wanted a separate trial. Uh, arguing that they didn't want to be linked to Chauvin, who's already been convicted of murder. Uh, the judge refused that. But now if he does, in fact, change his uh, plea to guilty, they could end up getting their wish. Uh, they could uh, go from, he could go from being a defendant to actually a witness and even testifying for the prosecution. But Regina, keep in mind, those three former Minneapolis cops, they still face criminal charges for aiding and abetting the murder of George Floyd. The timing of this is really peculiar. They would face these federal charges before that other trial, those state charges, which was set for March. Interesting. Well, definitely all eyes on Minneapolis tomorrow, especially also too with the Kim Potter trial. So lots to uh, talk about yeah. here in your area. And Bill, we really appreciate you joining us and bringing us up to speed on everything. So we'll definitely touch base with you tomorrow about this expected plea deal. So uh, you have a great rest of your day. You too, thanks.